In this video, we will continue with the modulus or absolute value functions. You will find this on page 365 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at an example. Simplify. Now, this is just in terms of algebra. So first, get that inside, and that's negative 3. And as soon as you see the bars, then this negative change into a positive. Now be careful here. And actually, I must read what stands here. Always first work out the value of the absolute value part, that part. Make it first positive. Make it positive, and then convert the absolute values bars to brackets. So as soon as you made it positive, put normal brackets around it. So basically here, I make that part, and I can maybe show you there, I make that part positive, do you see? And put brackets, and now I multiply with the negative and in front. And that's because it's, it's actually that I make it positive and then, so it's not that I multiply this two, that's incorrect. Okay, if I look at this one, Again, first work out the inside, just get your inside, that, that's going to be negative 10, and now you convert that to a positive. And then this one, also, first get, uh, first, if you look at this one, first make the bar bar before you, so make that um, negative, to make it a positive, then you square it, and then you multiply with the negative in front. Okay. Uh, I think this is very new for some of you, and it's also very important, so that you don't make unnecessary mistakes, especially if we come to the equations. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to give you the whole exercise, and I'm going to do the whole exercise in the video. But again, it's very important that you stop the video, and that you first try to do it on your own, and then the ones that you have incorrect, you can especially check the video on that one. Okay, but let's start. Number one. And every time I'm first going to write it out. So if I look at this one, then it's just going to become positive nine. Number B. Okay, and this one was now negative nine minus, and there is my bars. Now, again, this is negative 9, and now this one is also, it stays a positive, so negative 9, and the answer will be negative 8. Okay, number C. Now, number C will be, it's 1, and it's 3. Now, this is positive, 1, there's the negative, this stays positive, and the answer will be negative 2. Number D. Seven, negative five. And that one, first get that inside, that will be two, and then it will just stay at two. Number E. This is going to be negative 4, negative 9. So this is going to be negative 13, and then it becomes a positive, which is positive 13. E, number F. Make it yellow again. So it's 0, negative 1. So this is going to be 0, minus 1, and that's just going to be negative 1. Okay, let's just look. Uh, this is going to be negative, negative 2, plus 7. Okay, now be careful for this one. Don't think that you multiply that to No, you keep it negative, then you change that to a positive. So that's now positive 2. And make, not make bars, make brackets, and then say plus 7. And then if I multiply the negative in, it's negative 2 plus 7, and the answer will be... Okay, what I'm going to do is just going to make space. Still at number 1. 
Okay, and I'm not at number H. Okay, and this one is going to be negative 2 plus 0. So this is going to be 2 plus 0, and the answer is going to be 2. And then number I, this is going to be negative, and then a 3, negative 4. Okay, so this is going to be negative, that stays a 3, minus 4, and the answer will be negative 7. And this one is going to be negative 2 plus 2, and that's going to be positive 2 plus 2, and that's going to be 4. Number K, this is going to be negative 2, negative 3, so that will be negative 5, and then it becomes positive. And this one is going to be negative, negative 8 plus 2. Okay, keep the negative. First work out this part. This is negative 6. And now what I basically do, keep, make it round brackets, make it positive 6, and then multiply, and the answer will be negative 6. Okay, let's look at number 2. Again, I'm going to make space. I'll start again with number A, and that's going to be 18 minus negative 2. And that is going to be 18 minus, round bracket, make it positive 2, and that is going to be 16. Number B. Uh, this is going to be negative bracket, negative 2, and then it's going to be square. It's inside square. Do you see? That's a difference. So uh, it's almost a difference from that one. Do you see there? So first make a negative. Okay, keep it in the root, then it becomes positive. Do you see? And then I multiply in front and I say negative 4. Because, okay, can I, can I bring that step in? I just want to show you... So basically, that is then like this, and then it's negative. And then number C, this is going to be negative, the bar, and then it's negative 2, both the bar, and then it's squared. Now take it from the inside. First keep that, now remember, let's just see, there, keep your bar. Okay, now it's negative 2 inside, do you see? Now, if it's negative 2, it's going to become, if this is negative, it's going to become positive 2. I just want to get my brackets correct. Just focus again here. Because this bracket, oh, what is standing there? Oh, it's the bar. So this is going to be negative. Let's just get that bracket. Sorry, I'm taking, I don't think I wrote it nice. Let's make it better there. It's round, then it's a negative, then it's the bar, then it's negative 2 inside, then it's the bar, and then it's squared. So let's start. Keep, keep your bracket, keep the negative, make inside the bar positive 2. And it's round now, do you see? And then I first do this and I get negative 2 squared, but at the end, I get a positive 4, or just 4. Okay. Then number D, again I'm going to make space. Again, let's just write the brackets nice and the bars, that we don't get confused again in this one. Or I get confused, because I don't write so nice. Okay. So, if I look at this one, I'm going to say it's negative. Now, inside this bar, it's going to become positive 3. And then this one is going to be negative 4. And then I close. 
And then I say 3 minus 4, that's going to be negative 1. Do you see? And then a negative times a negative is going to be positive. Okay. And then number E. Negative 2 to the power 3 multiply bar negative 2 bar 5. So negative 2 to the power of 3, it's 2 times 2 times 2, negative 2 times negative 2 times, so it's negative 8. Then this one, be careful, it's multiply, first make it uh, a positive, and 5. And then it's going to be 32. So it's going to be negative 8 times that 32. If I just move this, just try to draw the down. So it's negative 2, 5, 6. Okay, and now I go for finals. Uh, that's number F. Okay, number F. This is just the vision. There's my bars. This is negative 4 squared. Okay, now remember, first make it a positive. So you make it 2, always positive, to the power 3. This one also positive to the power. So don't multiply, you just change the bars. And then 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 4 to the power, 4, 4 times 4 is 16. And if you simplify that, you will get a half. And that will be your final 